belated merry christmas everyone welcome or welcome back to artsy island girl jamaican vlogs i'm artsy and this is our development series we meet here every sunday at 11 a.m to focus on developments taking place in montego bay jamaica and across the world we also do bonus videos within the week if you like these types of videos don't forget to hit the like button share comment and subscribe now let's get into it number one Frontier Airlines announced recently that they will be launching a new route to Jamaica. The new non-stop service starts on March 9, 2024 from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport to Montego Bay, Jamaica's Sangster International Airport with tickets starting at $159. They will operate three times a week. Check their website for more details. I feel like I've been reading a lot of stories about new routes to Jamaica recently. Would you say there has been an increase in COVID? More than likely. Number two, experts discuss the possible effects of raising the island's hotel room count to 50,000 in five years with US $4 billion in investments. Most developments would target the North Coast, which you know is the tourism hotspot, though St. Thomas will also be getting a number of rooms. Jamaica's current room count is 31,510. For some reason, I thought it was more than that, with projections suggesting an additional 15,000 to 20,000 rooms in the next 5 to 10 years, particularly in specific parishes. Objectives of the study include assessing impacts on economic growth, investment, taxes, employment, and various sectors. Do you think we need 15,000 to 20,000 more rooms in Jamaica? Let me know in the comments. Number three, Minister of Tourism, Honorable Edmund Bartlett, projects an outstanding winter tourist season, expecting to surpass growth projections for 2023. The island anticipates 4,122,100 visitors, a 23.7% increase over 2022, with 2,875,549 stopover visitors, 16% growth, and 1,246,551 cruise passengers, a 46.1% growth. Minister Bartlett emphasizes a sustained recovery, noting 10 consecutive quarters of substantial growth post-COVID. Anticipated tourism earnings for 2023 stands at approximately US $4.2 billion, a 17.8% increase over 2022 and a 17.2% .2 over 2019. Number four, entrepreneur and hotel magnet Richard Wallace is calling on the government to enhance the infrastructure in the towns of Western Jamaica and popular tourist destinations on the North Coast. According to this article, the plea comes in the wake of a substantial rise in tourist numbers following the easing of the COVID-19 pandemic. While acknowledging the upswing in business, Wallace emphasizes the necessity for infrastructure improvements to align with the heightened demand. Number five. Harmony Beach Park in Montego Bay now offers free public Wi-Fi. For some reason, I thought they already had Wi-Fi. Hmm. The new offering is a product of the collaborative efforts of the Universal Service Fund, USF, and Urban Development Corporation, UDC. Number 6. Downtown Kingston's mural transformation backed by Tourism Enhancement Fund, Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, Kingston Creative and Sherwin Williams Jamaica Limited aims for 11 new murals on Water Lane by February 2024, totaling 57. The initiative establishes the Downtown Kingston Art District, focusing on a pedestrian art walkway on Water Lane. The movement collaborates with DBJ and PIOJ for training and economic opportunities, envisioning a revitalized and safe city. Number 7. 
Sangster International Airport, SIA, earned the Caribbean Airport of the Year title in the 10th Annual Caribbean Travel Awards by Caribbean Journal. SIA was praised for its recent enhancements, including digitization, upgraded services, and a new Bob Marley themed restaurant. The recognition also highlighted Club Mobe and SIA's role in expanding airlift networks in the Caribbean. The Caribbean Travel Awards, hosted by Caribbean Journal, celebrate excellence in Caribbean travel and tourism. Winners chosen by the editorial team showcase industry achievement check out our developments in jamaica playlist to learn about other developments in the country see you in the next one